Hey guys, sorry, I was just trying to line up my camera. I think we're okay. I moved it down a little bit because we're gonna make a card today. So, and we've been doing lots of layouts. So the camera was up super high. So I thought I would pull it down and see if that's a little bit better. Okay. Oh, I just need to pull this up so I can see the comments because I don't always catch them when they're over on the other screen. So, let's just double check that I'm in the right spot. So today we are going to make this super cute card you guys know I love a good Z Fold card. So this one's a little bit different. And um, so that is what we're gonna make today. Okay. Sorry. I was trying to get onto my other um, streaming service, but for some reason, it was saying that my um, internet wasn't super strong, but I know it is because we're all fixed up and we've had no issues. So, okay. So this is the card. So I can't actually see. So this is the card we are going to make today and it's super cute. It opens like this. And I needed a few birthday cards for my stash. Um, my kids have been in it the last little while, so I thought we would fix it up and create a few cards. So we're gonna make this exact same card, and then we're gonna make a second version with party time, because party time is like the, um, the actual like birthday theme but I thought this was too pretty not to actually play with it. So you guys have seen me play with this stamp set quite a few times. It is the Operation Smile stamp set. And so a portion of the um, sales from this stamp set go to Operation Smile. So I like to use it as much as possible. So I've done quite a few things um, with it. So it's every bit of wonderful. So we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna make this exact one in a different color combination. And then I've pulled out some party time, so we'll use that for the second one. So, and then for on the party time, I thought, let's play with this desserts a la whirl. And um, paper piece, you know I also love to do that, so I thought we would play with that. So that's what I've got for you. And for the birthday sentiment, this is actually one of my favorite ones to use. It's a, it's D. 1960 and it's on your birthday so it's got nice big sentiment so um i really like to use this one on the inside of the card and then this is a great font for like just a happy birthday so i have grabbed the new circle thin cuts so we have these back in the line again um they must have a different supplier so that's how I'm going to make my little pass through window for my Z fold card. So we're going to make one, like I said, with party time and one here with the you are enough. So I just put that all together this morning so that, um, we would have it. Okay. So the fun trick to this card is obviously that you can see right through the front. So last night while I was watching TV, later in the evening, I took the images from that stamp set, the Every Bit of Wonderful, and I just played with my tri-blend markers. I, I love to color this one, like, cause you can't go wrong with it kind of thing. So I used intense black and stamped all the images and then um, colored them, just playing with markers and then fussy cut them out. So I have enough for this one and I grabbed exactly the same pieces for another one. 
And then I have a few little leftovers here in my little tray that I'll just throw into my stamp envelope when I'm done here. Okay, so it's just, I'm gonna create it on a regular card base and then a fun little insert. And so this is how we're gonna get the Z fold portion of the card. But let's cut out the front. So you can use this with anything. So um, just cause I've done flowers and then we're gonna do some of the little images from the, um, forget what it's called, desserts um, stamp set, but you could use it with any icon. And um, depend, so like for example, if you wanted to use balloons, you might want to move your circle down here and have balloons up on the top, right? And then they would stay there in your opening. So here is how we're going to create this card. So I have cut a card front. So it's four and a, it's four by five and a quarter. So it's just a little bit short of the card base, right? And I'm just centering it on my front. We're gonna use the circle thin cuts to cut our hole. So I'm trying to decide still if I should bring that machine over here or if it's going to um, make my whole desk shake. So there I have it lined up, okay? So now I have, and I just put a little bit of washi tape on it so it doesn't um, wiggle when I send it through my die cutting machine. And I grabbed the largest circle, which is, I believe, yes, three inches. So on the back of my um, label here, I've just added the sizes so that um, I can reference it easily. So for this one, I know I want to put all the flowers along the bottom, right? So I just want it centered from either side. And then I know I need some room here for my flowers. So I obviously wouldn't put it way down here, right? So I'm gonna push it relatively close to the top, but not right at the top. I'll just add my little tiny piece of washi. And I'm thinking maybe I won't uh, bring my whole machine over here, I'll just load it up and crank it behind me so because it really does shake my desk because when the feet suction cut that's one of the nice things about it right is the feet actually suction cut down to the table but because the camera is attached to the table it makes the whole camera shake so I am going to just run it through my machine we're going to use both parts of this so I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take the pink front circle from yesterday. With that long plate, it takes a few more cranks to get it to come out the far end. Okay, so it has no problem cut through my two layers, right? So this one, I'm gonna save for another card and this one you can cut down and actually um, use it for your insert if you want. So I've just cut one size smaller circle. So the two and a half inch size circle for um, the insert. So, move that out of my way. You can see here, right, I had the negative space from this um, ballerina cardstock from the You Are Enough. So we're gonna use that as our background for this one. So it'll sit in here like this, because they all go together, right? So we might as well use them. So I don't need that. And then I've cut the two and a half inch circle that we're gonna stamp our sentiment on. Like I said, I did some coloring yesterday. So first things first, let's get the washi tape off. I'm just being gentle so that I don't actually rip anything. Sometimes I can be a little bit in a hurry. 
But the nice thing about the washi is that um, it's low tax. So it'll keep your um, pieces in line without ripping them. So I'm just gonna adhere my front panel Okay, and then you can see it lines right back up where you need it to be because we put that all through together, right? So there's no guesswork if you just, if you cut them separately, right? We literally cut it attached basically to the end result. So I'm going to fold my card base over. Okay, and so I don't know if you noticed too, but on our little Z fold, we had this super cute little surprise inside. So we're going to do our insert piece, do our stamping at first before we decorate our front. Okay, so we're going to set this aside. We have our insert though, and our piece for stamping our sentiment, and our flowers ready to go. So now we have our insert. So I'm just going to fold it. So this piece is uh, five and three eighths by six and an eighth. And then I scored it for two sections of two inches. So these, it's just going to be slightly smaller than our card base and fit in perfectly. And then these panels are each two inches. So I'm going to stamp it with exactly the same sentiments that I did the first one. We might swap it out for the dessert one. Okay, so I'm going to stamp the insert piece on the back before we assemble everything together and then I get it gets a few seconds to dry before we adhere it all together. So I'm going to use this big one that says lots of people are thinking of you on your birthday. I just wanted to let you know I am one of them. So and you can see even though it's quite large, I just missed slightly, but you would never know that that's under there. So once they open it up, it's kind of a fun little surprise. So I'm going to just stamp that sentiment here just with black ink. Are my extra pieces. So I just have one of the pieces of foam. I haven't grabbed my Versa mat, but I'm just going to make sure I've got lots of ink. Maybe while we have our ink out, I'll stamp the circle front too that says happy birthday. So I'm just kind of centering it on my card. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to set that aside. Well, I'll wipe it off first with our magic chamois, my well loved chamois. Okay, so then while I'm stamping, I might as well stamp it all together, which I did just manage to get wet with my chamois. So I do have more right here. So you could obviously swap out the color of your circle insert if you wanted it to match. You could do a ballerina in there. You could do bluebird, anything to kind of coordinate with it. So I am stamping kind of a little bit higher on my circle because I know I want my flower cluster at the bottom there. So I'm not going crazy high though, but it's not centered. It is above the center line. Okay, so then the stamping for this card is done. So I can close that. Okay, so I don't put something back in it. Okay, so our stamping is done. So then we'll add that fun little decorative pattern 
paper to this little panel right here. So this is just, I cut it an eighth of an inch smaller so that um, I had that little white border. So I do believe this is five and a quarter by one and seven eighths, just to give just that little border there. So now I can adhere my insert onto my card base. And again, I've just got a one, like I designed it with a one eighth of an inch margin so that it'll just fit in there and it won't be sticking out or won't be exactly the same size because then it wouldn't um, close the same. So I'm gonna add my adhesive to the back of my card base here. And because it's got lots of layers, I am going to add quite a bit of adhesive. Okay, so now I'm going to make sure, right, my card insert is going in the right direction. So just like that, and you can see it pulls out, right? So then you close your card, and then I have my insert. So this is the one, right, I cut out of this card, so I'm using it. So you just wanna make sure you're only adding adhesive though right here, cause that's the part that's actually gonna to touch. You don't wanna to add adhesive here or you'll be sealing your card shut. So we just want the circle to attach to just the front panel. Okay, so. you can see, there we go. So I am gonna just add this one flat on the front. Just like that. Okay, so you could totally even just leave it like this. It's still a really great card. Um, I, yeah, I would be fine. But we're gonna add a few more little pieces to the front here. So, let's see. I've got extra more than I need. So we're gonna take that one out. Okay, so I kind of like that. And I'm gonna add them in slightly different layers. So I am just gonna use just thin 3D foam tape. And again, same thing, you need to be careful about how you're adding your layers because you don't want to adhere, you're only wanting to adhere things to the front of your card, not to the sentiment piece, right? So this piece has to be attached on your card front here. So you can see, right? I only want, if you need to, you can actually even put marks on it, but I need adhesive from here to here so that it'll adhere to my card front and just the bottom. Okay, so, oh, you didn't miss much. No, and I'm gonna do it again, so don't worry. So you can see it's not gonna attach to my card front, right? So then I want this one that's a different color. So I don't know if you could tell on camera, but these are colored slightly differently. So again, same thing. I'm gonna make sure that I'm just adding adhesive on this part of the flower. So, I'm glad you got some groceries. That's very important, Dorothy. I'm telling you. 
Apparently my family keeps thinking I need to feed them. So I'm just trying to decide. Okay, and then this one, I think I'm going to just pop it up on thin 3D foam tape. and just across the bottom. Like that. So it comes together really quite quickly, right? Once you know what you're doing. And like I said, there's so many possibilities. Yeah, apparently they want to eat every day. And the animals too. So here is the Bluebell version like that, right? And here is the one that I created beforehand. So you can see, right? Like I took the insert and used it again. Okay, so we're gonna create it again with a different theme. So this is like a totally feminine feeling to it. So I thought, well, let's do something very opposite to that. So we're gonna create it with party time. And then the dessert pieces, I have, I pre-snapped them so that they would be all nice and dry and we're gonna fussy cut them and paper piece them together. So I thought these little dessert pieces were so cute. I had, you should see. So yesterday I was playing, trying to decide which to do first. And so this stamp set is super fun. You can use it with the um, spinner card front, but I, where are they? Oh, here. I cut out and stamped so many because I foresee playing lots with this. So lots of times when I'm thin cutting, right, I'll just do a whole pile so I can try different things on them. So one, I might paper piece, right? One, I might color with markers. One, maybe a watercolor. So I just do a whole pile of them all at the same time when I'm starting. And um, then it makes it easier. I can just kind of pull out of there when I want something to play with. I remember that she got a tortoise. I don't think I could have a tortoise here. I don't think it's warm enough. They only have them at the zoo here. Okay, so let's do party time and we're gonna do like a slightly more masculine theme. So same thing, I've just got a white card base and envelope and it's just like our value pack. And But you could also do this in fun colors if you wanted to make your, I just did this because it's nice and fast, right? But if you wanted to, you could totally cut a card base out of a fun color, the same, right? So then I just dug into my scraps because I only you only need a few pieces for this, right? So I want to start using up some of my party time. So I've cut the um, piece of decorative paper to four by five and a quarter, and we've got our biggest thin cut. You could change up the, the size of the circle thin cut if you wanted to change up the size of the window. If you wanted a smaller window, you could obviously go down in size. So then earlier, I cut a green apple, the same size. So that's gonna be our front um, border. And then I cut the one size smaller in the white daisy. So I'll just run this through the machine. Oh, just a dot. That's interesting. Okay, so I'm just being gentle so I don't rip anything. Okay, so it easily cut through both my layers. So this one I can save and use this 
as another um, rim or you could do like a pink version and flip it over but I will save that okay so I'm just going to take this off gently Lots of times, even with the washi tape, I will take a little bit more tact off of it just by touching it to my skin before I use it. And then it just makes it even that much less tacky. So if this was a new piece of washi and I knew I was gonna use it and it was gonna get compressed into the thin cut machine, I would even maybe just rub it on my skin one more time so that it's even less sticky. Okay, so I will fold my card base over. I don't know, but I don't know why, but I totally love Z Fold cards, and I thought this one was kind of fun. It's a nice little decorative surprise inside, right? Okay, so I'm gonna adhere my front to the pre-cut base now. And this, the dessert stamp set, there's, like I said, there's so many fun ways that you can um, use this stamp set. I kind of like it, um, the cup from this one, because it's a little bit bigger than last time when we did a coffee cup. So it's a little bit nicer to paper piece than the last one we had that was smaller. Okay, so let's do happy birthday to you so I have not used this yet so I have that the same insert for this one just trying to move a few things out of my way so we have the insert I'll just fold it so again I'm pretty sure I have written down here six and an eighth by five and three eighths and that just makes it um, an eighth of an inch smaller than my card and then the two panels are scored at two inches each so each of these panels is two inches and then this is just um, an eighth of an inch smaller than our insert so I don't think I'm gonna stamp something on the inside of this. I could add maybe another one of these images on the inside, or I can add something later too. So, but I'm gonna add the insert and then we'll do our paper piecing. So like I said, because this is um, quite a bit of card stuff weight that I'm adding to my card base. I do, I'm do. i using quite a bit of adhesive. I'm always adhesive heavy, but I would rather something stayed together than fell apart. So now I cut this piece. This is gonna be our little fun decorative piece here. So this is five and a quarter by one and seven eighths. So we're just going to add that. So you can see, it's probably maybe hard to see on the white daisy, but it's just kind of like, it's a one eighth of an inch little border there. So now let's stamp our happy birthday to you. Let me just see how this is going to fit here. This is fun. There's so many little things on here to play with. So there's wish you a latte and then you could say fun or happiness or peace or joy, like all of them. And then this one's fun too. Do not forget and then like you're the best or you can just do you are your okay so let's see here how we're gonna do this uh, 
Happy. Birthday. Two. So I kind of, my thought was that I'm going to do the cup of coffee. I don't know why I can't pick anything up today. So I was going to do the cup of coffee like this and the little cupcake like this. So when I look at my circle here, I want to kind of keep it more so on this side and then I can even play around with how high up I put my little coffee cup. So I'm just trying to decide if I should put the two beside the birthday or not. And this would be fun stamped in all different colors too, right? To go with the party time. But I have black pulled out, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna test them on this little circle that I got wet because I have not used these yet. So I've just, I've rubbed them on my skin. Just to get like that manufacturer finish off of them. So happy. Now we've got birthday and two and then you, I think is what I'm gonna do. You'll notice that I am actually using quite a big block for the stamp set. Because I want to be able to try and line everything up, I just, I want more room that I can see through. I find that easier for stamping, not everybody does. birthday oh that's funny so now two And I see because the, so the problem with using a bigger block is that you do have a chance of getting ink on the side. So I just wipe it off with my chamois. There we go. So like I said, I think even one of the little sentiments or one of the big images on the inside would be fun as like the surprise inside. Judy said it's a cute card, not what she was guessing when she saw the photo. Probably not. So then, okay. So if I don't like that, I can always swap it out. So, because I haven't actually seen how we're gonna fit the front on, but at the very worst, I will add just another piece over top. Okay, so now we have our pieces. So I'm gonna add my circle. And remember, right, I'm just adding adhesive to this part where it's gonna contact the pattern paper behind it. Okay, and like I said, I picked green apple. I originally actually had the lemonade and then um, 
I thought, oh, I'm gonna make my cup lemonade and um, do my circle green apple. Okay. So then I just, I, like I said, I went in and I've just picked out um, colors that coordinate. We're just going to add just a little, I'm gonna leave the lid of the cup white. So I'm just gonna add with my ice gray, just a little lime and a few spots to um, just add some more character to it. And I'm not really overly worried about it being perfect. And then, like I said, so we're gonna cut the cup out to be the lemonade color. And anybody that doesn't like to fussy cut, this is the perfect project for you. So I'm just cutting right on my lines. And this image, this stamped image is super um, easy to cut. So then we're just gonna paper piece it together. So like I said, there's so many ways to color this um, stamp set. So, and even you can just see, even by adding the one layer, it adds so much more personality. So then I think this is Glacier. I'm just gonna do the belly band. You could also, if you wanted to add a little more character to the belly band, you could emboss it with an embossing folder. That would be really cute. Actually, it's funny. I just got a email just right before I went live from a bakery that I already always order from and uh, this is what it's making why well, it's making me think of that they were it's all about like teachers gifts for the end of the year and I'm like oh and they all look so delicious okay so this is I want to put this like that and that's kind of why I wanted my stamping over onto that side so and I'm gonna do this one flat I'm just gonna add a little bit of adhesive like that So like that, and I did pretty good there. So there's the cup on there. And then, so I have a cupcake too. So we're gonna add that here and I'm gonna put this up on 3D foam tape. And I maybe could have moved my U over just a little bit more, but I'll just switch out my cupcake there. So I did a little ballerina icing and then this is just a piece from the party time. I was going to pick a more masculine color for the icing but then I thought the ballerina matches and I'm not a big fan of funny colored icing. So we went with ballerina. You could add sprinkles onto the cupcake too. There is a sprinkle image here. So like I said, again, I just fussy cut, I just stamped it again and I'm just fussy cutting it out. This one, I think we might need to add something sparkly onto. Okay, and then don't forget, if you don't need the whole image, you don't have to stamp the whole image either. I knew I just needed the icing here. So I just stamped the top of the cupcake. So I'm actually gonna lay this down and then put my liner on top. So I'll show you one second here. So like I said, I love these lines on this um, stamp set because they're kind of, they always remind me of like when they do that a little bit thicker line, more like a coloring book image. Oh, 
Okay, so you're gonna see. So I've left this on here. I'm not gonna worry about cutting that out because it's gonna go underneath my decorative liner, right? So it's super easy to line up with those nice black lines, just like that. So that's down. So now I cover this up and it fits perfectly and you don't have to worry about trimming out that scallop there. So just like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna add some thin 3D foam tape right behind here. I just want to make sure I put it on the right side. Okay, and I can still do a little bit more here so that it's balanced. There we go. So now I just need to add some embellishments. And like I said, I might go and stamp on the inside after or take one of the extra images from here and add it to the inside. So you could totally hide the ice cream behind there, right? And then just say something else. Or you can also add this circle on here. And it gets covered up. Why don't we do that? I will add this circle. I'll paper piece that um, ice cream after and put it on the inside. So I can hide this piece. I can add another circle onto it. Okay, so I'm not gonna push it down. I think it's about there. Oh, actually, I can actually totally line it up with the front of my card, right? And then when you close this, you will not see that. So I just lined it up from its original spot like that then I could add either uh, ice cream and, a, and one more smaller insert to write my message. I think I'm out of circles. So we'll pretend like I didn't stamp on this one. But you could add another piece on here like that and your little ice cream cone and hide it just like that. Okay, but so let's put something sparkly on the front of this card. So let's do, um, could really use any, anything. I'll just add some silver sparkles because that's what I happened to grab first. There we go. Now we've got something sparkly. And you can even, um, let's add some clear. So 
I would pick a sentiment and finish, I'll finish that and I'll photograph it. But let's put some clear shimmer brush on that cupcake. Just so that it's a little glittery. So I know you'll never be able to see this on camera, but now our cupcake is just a little bit sparkly. So nice and simple, but a little bit different. So, and then I can even add shimmer to my um, flowers. So I might add it to my big flower here. just as a finishing touch. This Operation Smile um, stamp set, I love it. It's so fun for just tucking into little spots. So there we go. So there are our two cards for today, you guys. So here is the original one. So this is with the You Are Enough and then um, the, the birthday stamp set is on your birthday. And then this floral stamp set is the Every Bit of Wonderful. So then here's the one we created today and I took that pink insert that I cut out, testing the card, and used it as my insert, right? So this is the second one. And then, oh, I'm glad. And then, I love this one too. This is totally fun. The, the, I could see so many different versions with these um, icons. They're very fun. Oh, sorry. I don't know why it went just crazy there. But that's what I've got for you guys today. And I will be back on Friday with a layout. I'm gonna take um, a single page layout and turn it into a double page layout. So if you have not voted and you want um, input on which layout we will create on Friday, uh, look below, there is um, a fun little poll going on. Oh, you're welcome. No problem. I'm glad, Dorothy. So I think this is lots of fun. And like I said, there's so many different ways you could interpret this, like it's endless, right? So by simply moving your circle or moving the shape even, you could totally do a different shape if you wanted. Um, anything that you're basically cutting a portion of your front out of, right? So that's what I've got for you guys today and have a great day. We'll talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.